Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel The Engineering Survey. Today we are going to learn how to do the setting out using a top core throttle station. Right. The next thing is we need to learn how to do the setting up. Right. Now we have already oriented the instrument because of that I'm not going to uh, uh, show you how to orient it back. So instead of that we'll try to uh, set out one of one of the uh, predefined code in it right so now i go i i should go to the option called setting out right so i i will escape from here right escape uh, and go to setting out option right for that i go to i need to go to escape and go to function and find whether the setting out option is there so so is the setting out option so i click this set, setting out in the setting out option also there is there is one called occupied orientation, right? Let's say if you, uh, without orienting the instrument, if you uh, directly go to setting out, in there also it is recalling, it is reminding you that you need to orient the instrument. Without orient the instrument, you can't do the setting up, right? That's why uh, 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 separate occupied orientation option is there in the setting out as well. Now we go to SO data and give the, uh, well, give one of the coordinates for the setting out. So we can, so uh, we can uh, load one of the readings we, obtained uh, 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 in the detail collection right so the last reading you obtained was number five i think number five so we can set out the same point right so i can load one point so we have obtained five coordinates earlier right so i'm going to setting uh, do the setting out uh, using uh, the fifth fifth uh, number right so this is the coordinate of that point point five so, so we are going to uh, click ok when we click ok it shows that uh, the direction we need to a turn right so we it says that turn the uh, instrument to the right hand side uh, by 74 min, uh, de degrees 13 minutes and 33 seconds right that is what it is saying so i'm turning it until it becomes zero right so then uh, after it has come to the zero uh, degrees i clamp it and using the uh, fine adjustment screw for the uh, object um, the cl clamping screw or the tangent screw I bring it to the zero right a bit uh, difficult to bring to zero right so one second in. it's okay so now we need to uh, ask the guy the pole man to go to any direction this is how you are giving the signals right so you need to learn how to give the signals as well because when the distance is increased you need to either use walkie talkie or give hand signals right so i i prefer that if you can use hand signals if, if you want to ask him to go to the right hand side you can signal like this right hand side and left hand you have to use your left hand go to le uh, left hand side go slightly to the right hand side right slightly go slightly to the left hand side right so then come come this way right let's say five meters come five meters this way five meters this way in the uh, direction of instrument go five meters uh, back way right or the other direction opposite direction this is how we are doing it five meters right so point, let's say point one meters point one meters this way right let's say just 10, 10 millimeters or 20 millimeters right this is how you are signaling not like that right don't signal it using the same man that is wrong right that is wrong don't do that so now i'm asking him to first i see through the gun sight and see whether he's in the light fortunately he's in the night but slightly he has to move to the right hand side right so now i'm targeting the precision now i'm measuring the distance when i measure the distance i say uh, it's it shows that uh, go 0.467 meters back right so i i show him just like uh, point 0.5 meters back right then i i measure back right it's just point uh, 0 0.026 that means uh, 26 millimeters right just 26 millimeters 
forward right right it's 12 millimeters right that's enough that's enough now you can fix the point on the ground right so if he if he has a, a nail or peg go he can drive the peg there if you want to set out that point right that's how you are doing the setting up so these are the main three options that you need to know right uh, measuring angle and distance uh, that one is the first one you need to do measuring angle and distance because you need to do the traversing first after doing the traversing you can find the coordinates of these points these uh, control points and traverse stations then using those control points details you can orient these rubbers uh, in any control above any control point then after that we prefer to those two control points you have a uh, used orient orient instrument you can collect all the details around the around the area then after collecting the details you can import this data to the uh, civil 3d workspace so serpo any kind of uh, software where we can analyze the data right then after analyzing the data we can put some alignments road alignments or building uh, corners or building edges and then we can set out the points on the ground using this setting out option so these are the main uh, three steps that we have to follow to do any survey there are other options as well call mlm mlm means missing line measurement rem uh, remote elevation measurement and area calculation so those options are already there so in in our next lessons we'll learn about those uh, options but uh, today this is enough uh, and this is enough for the survey camp as well right so that's all thank you very much for uh, listening to the lectures and next thing i need to show you is how to get the data right from the total station that is very important thing right thank you very much for watching this video coming up next is transferring data to a pen drive from a top 4 total station don't forget to subscribe this channel and click the bell button for more the latest videos